Okay, if you Google R, uh, the first hit is basically the R program. So we click this, or you can say download R for Windows or download R for Macintosh. I'm going to go over the first one and then go back to the Mac. Okay, so download R for Windows. Download the R, oh, it's not 2.14, it's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm still using an old version. Let me click that, see what happens. Oh yeah, say so save file. Uh, <coughs> it's downloading now. So, wait for this to download. If I if I go back, uh, I can also choose say download R for Macintosh. Uh, Probably, this probably, this seems to be the Macintosh package. Yeah, if you download that, it will be a, to the Macintosh download. Uh, I also like to use Mac by the top console I use. That. <laughs> so, yeah. okay, let's check the progress. Uh, <coughs> um, R is free. It's actually not free, it's called open source. You can use it for free but you cannot use it free for commercial purposes. <laughs> so it's not a per completely free, but it's free for, for many purposes, including research and study. And if you have your own company, you can use R, but you cannot sell it. But the difference, if you use R make a product, you can still sell it. Let's say you write your own interface, use R as a, as a tool. You can sell the, your own program. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, it's done. And then you just double click it, basically. Uh, I'm not going to install it. I don't actually have the root. Now this is another software you also want to install called R Studio. That's a, a interface for R. For R Studio. Uh, now if you Google R Studio, it's also go to R Studio. There. R Studio is basically an interface to use R. It's a very good interface that uh, it is uh, yeah. So it's called uh, Integrated Development Environment for R. So this is for this can be done for both Windows and uh, Macintosh. I also use that. Macintosh. So if you click down the last, uh, you can it seems to be automatically detect which what kind of computer you use. Let me see. Oh uh, no. You still have to <laughs> check. Uh, so in my case, it's a recommend. Oh yeah, it does seem to recommend something. So it, it detect my computer is Windows. Uh, I use this one. Uh, it probably can also tell you uh, which. If you're using Mac, maybe it can recommend you for this. Yeah, so and if you use other versions uh, of Linux computers, I use uh, for other purposes. So so download. Both of these, uh, I forgot to put this on Moodle site. I'm, I'm going to also put a link for the RSPD on the Moodle site. <coughs> okay, how is the progress? Is it downloading now? Oh, uh, yeah, if you, if, you, if you sit over there, put the uh, Ethernet cable, it will be much faster.
Extra, yeah, that seems to be doing well. How much you pay for this? Or your parents pay? Uh, 200. Only 200, wow. Okay. He, uh, how much memory is this? For some of the work, it, uh, it depends. Sometimes uh, when we calculate a large number of data, we may have problem, memory problem. So okay. if, if that's the case, that you have to use the uh, lab computer. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes uh, even my laptop has problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but if that's really the case, I often uh, truncate the data. This is still a class that we don't want to do. It. Uh, <laughs> spend time just waiting. Right? So. You should wait. Uh, wait. Don't okay. uh, you If you want to install R Studio, you have to wait uh, until the R. Otherwise, you won't find the uh, necessary tools. To install. 